Hi, Chase. How you doing? Good. Hey, Chase. So uh, you're, we talked to your brother earlier in the week, and he talked about you guys had a bet, you know, going into this week. How'd you think about? How'd you think about how he did yesterday? I mean, I think he killed it. Um, I mean, he showed that he's explosive, that he's smooth, and you know, I'm really proud of him. First of all, you know, 300 plus carries this past year. How would you manage your body during the week to be ready for that kind of workload? You know, I put a big key on recovery and spending a lot of time in the training room and the cold tub. So, um, I mean, coach trusted me the ball 30 times a game, so I knew I had to take it upon myself to, to key on my recovery. How much pride did you take in playing, playing all those games and getting all that work? A, a lot of pride. I mean, I knew going into games that um, coach was going to try and ride my back, and my guys trusted me to carry the ball that much and put us in a situation one games. You had to play the very physical It's very physical position and carrying the ball against really good defenses. How do you feel like you uh, separated yourself from some of the other running backs that you have on the same backboard? Well, you know, the, the Big Ten has a history of running backs that have been extremely successful in the NFL. And, uh, you know, to be added to a list of running backs that at that caliber, um, I mean, it's truly an honor. I, I went out every single week and gave my best, and, you know, that's why I'm in this situation right now. Chase, one of the glowing points in your scouting report is elite versatility, right? You can carry the ball from any set, but you can also catch the ball, and you're a natural hands catcher. Do you take pride in that? Is that something that you work on, or is that something that just comes naturally? Well, that's something I worked on every single day at practice. Uh, in the NFL nowadays, you got to be able to catch the football. Um, and being able to show that this year on the field was extremely important to me. Chase, what does it mean to you for you and City to be here to have the success that you guys have? Yeah, I mean, we dreamed of it ever since we were young. Uh, and I mean, I can remember watching multiple NFL combines with them when we were, you know, middle school, high school, even college. And the fact that we're both here together makes this moment, you know, so much more special. And what would it mean to you to be able to play with him as a pro? I mean, that would be amazing. The, the odds of that happening, though, are pretty low, but. Um, yeah, the thought of it is exciting. When, when you decided to leave Western Michigan, was that, did Illinois call you pretty quickly? Or? Uh, it, it, was a, it was a pretty quick transition. Um, I remember uh, putting my name in the portal, and it might have been a couple weeks until I got that Illinois offer. After a solid uh, senior bowl, what have you been working on with your game? Since the senior bowl, just to, to be the most well-rounded running back I can be. Um, I mean, it's important in the NFL to be able to protect the quarterback and you know, going into this off season and uh, mini camp, that's going to be my, my biggest thing. What's the biggest difference between you and your brother? I mean, if it, on paper, there's not many differences, but uh, as far as personality, we're a little bit different. Uh, but both extremely competitive and want to one-up uh, one each other in everything we do. Have you spent time with Steelers, though? Yeah, I've, I've been a couple times. Informal. What NFL teams have you spent the most time uh, you know what, I, I've I've probably met with every team at this point. It's just uh, a matter of what team thinks I'm the right fit for their offense. And, uh, you know, the, the rest is out of my control. Your brother mentioned the adversity having to move from Canada to Florida. How much do you think that forced you to mature and, and handle some of the ups and downs in college as well? You know, extremely fast. Uh, I can remember, you know, in a four-day period, we got accepted into a school. And by that fourth day, you know, my mom was heading back to Canada. We're in a new city with a new family, new school. I mean, not many friends. So, um, you know, you talk about a quick transition. That's something that we went through at a young age. And being able to adapt to that as quickly as we did, uh, you know, only prepped us for the future. How cool was it when your mom came to visit you guys at the end of the season in 2021 and surprising you guys like that? Really cool. I mean, that was during a time where she couldn't come across the border and watch any of the games. So uh, being able to see her at the end of the season and uh, spend some time with her was extremely special. And then last year, you know, her being able to make it to every single home game and even our, our you know, season season ending game against uh, Northwestern was, was really special. Just having her there because she watched us while we were young and she missed a lot of our college games because of COVID. So um, the fact that she was spent watch watch our senior season was, was really cool. How shocking was it when you like crowded the corner and then saw her stand? That's funny, yeah. Um, I didn't even know. So the, the day before, my coach told me that she wasn't going to make it and, you know, she got stuck at the border. And I'm like, you know, darn. But as I'm walking up, I, I see this this blonde lady that kind of looks like my mom, but I'm like, there's no way. Eventually it was, so. If you and your brother meet in the open field, who comes out on top? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Chase said he said you guys had a couple side bets on the 40, the cone, and the shuttle. Yeah. Like, those, what you, can you beat them in those based on what you saw yesterday? I think you set a really good baseline, um, something for me to go after, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm ready to go tomorrow, and uh, you know, to chase numbers like that will, will push me. Chase, what's this pre draft process been like for you? Like you've bettered yourself in these times. Well, yeah, it's um, it's a it's there's a lot of uncertainty, um, and I think that's the biggest biggest stressor is you know you, you go in and you don't really know where you're gonna be. So I think the biggest thing right now is focused on what I can control, and you know that's you know performing well at the combine, uh, performing well at my pro day, and uh, just taking it one step at a time.